I am here for my family and uh, I always um, uh, instruct to my workers first you have to think your family then you start your job when I finish my work then I talk to my wife always uh, when I call to her she asking uh, are you okay yes yes then I reply yes I'm okay don't worry <laughs> Every time uh, she worry, are you safe working safe? Yes, I am working safe. Because if I get uh, hurt, then she will also get hurt. So I will uh, break her smile because I want uh, every time she can uh, smile. So if uh, anything happen to me, then she cannot smile. Incident injury free is really a, it's a mental state of belief. It's the values in which we, we work towards safety to ensure that everyone goes home safe every single day. We've recently reached 50 million man hours LCI free. Two years ago, we had to question, was that really possible? We made that commitment to ourselves, not really sure how would we get there? But we have. And now for me, it's that firm belief that we can do it. And it's getting all of the workers to believe I can do it too. I can work today without being hurt. Everyone wants to be safe. And so you have a single purpose that starts to bind people in any culture. We touch upon them that we recognize that they have left their families, all of them. And we touch upon them that it's for us success if they go home safe. I feel personally accountable for the welfare of the 52,000 people. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. We have to, to train them to work as safety officers for themselves and for the people working around them to ensure that they are working in safe conditions. And what it means is when they're on site, they will be willing to intervene if they think something's unsafe. Yeah, they will feel that we've given them that responsibility and accountability to make sure that, that what they do is safe every day. So Safety Day, I think it's two things. One, it's a celebration of what we've achieved so far. And I think it's an acknowledgement, saying it's an acknowledgement of all the effort people put in. People are starting work at five o'clock. It's hot, you know? It's very hot. They work long days, and it's acknowledging, you know, that they are taking the effort to be safe. But it's also an opportunity to look forward. The project gets more and more hazardous. You know, our risks have been up to now, been very heavy construction, lots of heavy weights, lots of lifting, lots of working at height. But the next risks coming forward now are ones where we'll have systems under pressure, we'll have explosive gases, we'll have gases with poison in them that essentially, if people don't manage their safety risk going forward, could create a very, very serious accident. In Japan, we have some uh, words for long journey until last mile we should think it's just halfway so we keep focus on we have to stay sharp until everyone go home you need to keep on refreshing it first of all for the hazards which will be changing over time once the project progresses and also new people will come it's also about myself and others coming out and saying thank you you've really done a good job and I appreciate it. It's a personal thing for them as well. I mean, uh, seeing them happy, having a gift or a certificate that they can carry after the project. Hopefully this will be like uh, part of their history. And also talking to their children there later on when they leave this project, which is very good. We have, I think, 50 nationalities at least represented in the workforce with at least that many languages and dialects. So communication itself uh, is an issue. 
So making it relevant, I think, is all about finding a, a way of, of motivating each group in its own, own particular way. So today, Kapil Dev, very, very famous Indian cricketer, is able to engage over half our workforce who are Indian, but also probably another 30% that, that are other cricket playing nations. And he can talk to them in the language they identify with. When you look around the work they are doing, I think unbelievably big. I haven't seen any project bigger than this in the world. I think Shell have gone much higher in my imagination uh, how closely they watched the interest of a, a human being and that's why the success is so, so pretty. The whole concept of worker welfare was about caring for people and looking after people. It came down to creating a living environment where people feel valued, they feel respected. This is what people would generally call a contractor camp. We call it the Pearl Village. We have a mayor, it's a community. I said good evening everybody! I've been here for over two and a half years and I've seen uh, Pearl Village grow from a community of, of 2,000 to an upwards of 50,000 where we stand now. The intent was to create a home away from home. With all these events that we have going on in the Almantaza every night, and also the events going on inside the camps, we've managed to accomplish that. Three, two, one. We can't tell people we care about you 10 hours a day and then send them home, put them in a cheap bed with no food. We have to care about them 24 hours a day. We look for their mental health, their nutritional health. We make sure that they have a place to relax, play a game, have fun. I think they love it. They've worked in many other places abroad. Never have they encountered the concentration on workers' welfare like we do here. Quite importantly, that we have communication opportunities for people to ring their families, you know, with Skype and other things. If I wasn't able to communicate with my family and I knew there was some problem, and my mind would be focused on that rather than the work I'm doing. By taking the distractions away, it helps people focus on the job, it helps them do a better job, helps them be more productive. Of course, like any town or any village, people have issues. And for that, we've, we've established what we call our Aunts and Uncles program. So these are volunteers from within the contractors. They're not paid any extra. They do it just because they want to do it. And they're there really to listen to people. And often just by talking it through, people resolve a lot of the issues that are making them uptight. If that can't be resolved, the aunts and uncles are able to refer these people to psychologists we have. So it's all about trying to look after the mental well-being of people. When you take care of them, they will tell you that Shell is serious about safety because they show that they are prepared to spend money and effort to take care of the workers. And if you do that, I'm a very strong believer that if you take care of your workers, your project will be a success. You can measure the success of IIF in two ways. So you can do it with hard figures. If you look at those hard statistics, we are best in class and we're getting better every month. You know, we've got to 50 million hours without a lost time accident. That's a record for Shell in 100 years of history in any project that Shell's ever engaged on. I think the second thing I measure it is just the attitude of the people. And when you actually engage individually with a worker, do you see an expression of their commitment to safety? And I think what we've done on Pearl is we've created a culture where people believe now they can be safe. They believe that we don't need any accidents whatsoever. And I think that really makes us feel that we're, we're getting to the place we really wanted to get to, to have an instant injury-free project. So when you manage safety very strongly, you will manage quality strongly and you will get the best progress that you can get out of your resources. And I've seen that here. I mean, you just feel pride. We have a great leadership team in, on Pearl GTL, yeah? And, you know, I'm, I'm really, really lucky with the people I have working with me. When you see in the faces, you see the energy, 
you see the commitment, you see the passion, you see the delivery, you see what we're building. It's the largest construction site in the oil and gas industry. You just have to pinch yourself and say, I'm just enormously proud to be part of this.